weird. It's full, full, full clown world slave mind. Mm. And I mean, look, the programming, the programming. It's it, it like I, I curate my reality very, very carefully. Mm. Like I don't even really read my own YouTube comments. I don't really because because it's, it's just bullshit. Like, Why would I, you? It's I, terrible. Yeah, I don't. I, I really have an existence where I only talk to the people in my network, the people I do business with, my brother. I live in a country which is sensible. I really am not around much of this, but I accidentally pick up bits of it. But I really try and create my reality very, very carefully because it's actually one of the things that's amazing to me. I said this the other day. Everybody understands that you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Everybody understands that. Dan Pena. Everybody understands that. <clears throat> but they understand that and still hang around with fucking losers. True. It's like, that, is that not the ultimate mark of being a dumbass? If you understand that that's the truth and you don't create your friendship and create your, your reality, yes. then you're a loser. I had a guy join the war room the other day, my private network, and he joined. And we have, we have multi-millions in there, multi-millionaires in there. We have a billionaire in there. I, I bought a Bugatti purely to add Bugatti owners to my network. So we have Bugatti owners in there. We have guys connected to the point where I can't even say he on, on YouTube, right? A guy joined, he's 19, he ain't nothing. He goes, look, I know I don't have any value to give but I'm just here to learn and I, I understand that if I stand a chance of escaping the matrix, you're the man I need to be around. And I was like, you're absolutely intelligent. Instead of spending 19, sitting around playing video games, that's the smartest thing you could have ever done. Mm -hmm. sure. his, his life's gonna change forever, right? Because he's around people who understand. So all the people out here who sit there and go, yeah, you're the sum of the five people you hang around with the most, yeah, and then go hang around with dickheads. <laughs> you're, an, you're an idiot. But most people are like that. Yeah. Because they're idiots, right? You have to create your reality. And there's nothing wrong with saying to people, you know what? I've outgrown you. You know what? I'm on a different path to you. You know what? X, Y, Z. Sometimes you've got to cut people off because if you don't create your reality, they infect your energy. That is a big one, man. Big one. They, it's, it's like, it's negativity. It's yep. being around it. I remember cutting off like a, a really good friend for a, a good period because of that negative draw. You know? A uh, uh, 100%. Yeah. Because as much as I don't want to sound airy-fairy, I have noticed, I have a saying, and it's not a very, it's not a very, remarkable saying, but I use it all the time. And that's dumb shit leads to dumb shit. And I say that for an example, like let's say you, you, you leave your car unlocked. You're unprofessional, you leave your car unlocked. Now it gets stolen. Now, now here's a police case. Now that, dumb shit leads to dumb shit. So when I'm around people who do dumb shit or unprofessional mm. things, or they're not smooth, or they're not, they don't get their shit right, or they're negative, that I refuse because it comes true. Yeah. It's like you, you make it true. If I hang around with your stupid ass long enough, all the stupid <laughs> shit you're true. talking about is going to happen to me. Yeah. So it's like you That's speak true. it into existence. Yes. Yes. So yeah. I refuse to be around it. Dumb shit leads to dumb shit. Everyone I talk to is such a fucking winner that when I sit around, <laughs> all I could do is accidentally win. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, bam, more money. Like yeah. all you can do is win uh, when you're around winners. It's true. It's true. This is all you can do. So you have to, you have to be very, very selective and you have to very, very carefully create your reality. And that's why I created the War Room because it's a global network, but you have to be global and you have to be online nowadays because if you're a normal dude living a normal life, you're never going to meet winners in day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Because they're all slaves. Yeah. So you have to find that guy in Singapore who's a winner, those two guys in Dubai who's a winner, one in London. Like, it's, it's hard now. Yeah. It's getting harder and harder. But yeah, I, I don't tolerate negativity around me. I, I no. refuse to tolerate. Imagine a man who owns a casino. So obviously you're gonna be a bit intimidated by the man who owns a casino. Like what kind of friends does he have to own a casino? Now imagine a man who owns 15 casinos. And imagine said man was a retired four-time kickboxing world champion. Good oh. shot there from Tank! Yeah, I told you this kid is dangerous! He bought in the ring last month after smoking cigars, kicked the fuck out of some of the fun. Imagine said man had $10 million worth of cars, 16 supercars. Imagine this man's living in Romania. A mafia infested country, he just rolls up. He's respected by everyone. He goes where he wants, does what he wants, fuck what he wants. No one fucking talks to him. No one touches him. Big G. Imagine this man is gonna teach you how the world works. Are you ignorant enough to sit there and think that this individual doesn't know something about life that you don't know? Imagine this man was a certified pimp, had over 75 women make him $10 million online. Imagine you knew a man with beautiful women in the webcam game, bitcoins on the blockchain. And imagine this man said, look, I know something about the world you don't know. Are you stupid enough to not listen to said individual? If when I was broke, I met a casino owning pimp, world champion kickboxer, who's affiliated up to the highest possible level. I'm talking about 10 passports, political, friends political fuck the mafia shit because the real mafia are the politics anyway and he said i'm going to teach you about life i'm going to allow you to join my network 
I'm gonna give you the blueprint to absolute freedom. You know what I would do? I'd fucking listen. If Mike Tyson tries to teach you how to throw a punch, you pay attention. Do not DM me, DM me any more stupid fucking questions. If you're serious about your life and you're serious about learning from me, you just DM me, I want to learn. That's it.